Are you getting excited for Halloween, Stewie? You know, we'll have to stop thinking about your costume soon. All right, but let's make sure we don't cover up this, all right? It's what puts candy in the bag. Oh, look, Chris, here's your costume from the year you went as a condom. What the hell are you supposed to be? <gasps> oh, Stewie, look! It's your very first teddy bear. Oscar? Wow, I remember that bear. That's the one Grandma and Grandpa brought Stewie when he was still in the hospital. Oh, and here's the card they sent me. Three kids on $40,000? Have fun with your crap life. I guess he got tucked away up here. You want him back, sweetie? What, this old thing? No, no, thank you. I've grown. I've changed. You sure you don't want him? I said no, okay? Don't you have a wedding dress to try halfway on and then cry about? Hey, what's going on? You doing some reading there? Yes, well, you know I turn to poetry when matters of the heart weigh heavily on me. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Anonymous. Wait, matters of the heart? What are you talking about? Well, Lois found my old teddy bear, Oscar, in the attic, and, and I'm just not sure how to handle it, what with Rupert and all. Who cares? Just play with them both. I can't do that. Oh, it'd be so awkward. Um, okay. Oscar was my... Well, he was my first, you know, and that's always exciting, but, but I've been with Rupert for so long now. Uh-huh. Most of our finances are intertwined. We've built a life together. On the other hand, Oscar. Well, Oscar's the only one who can really make me laugh. I hate to say it, but I'm mostly with Rupert because of his insurance. Stewie, I think you're overthinking this. No, no, you're right, you're right, Brian. I'm with Rupert now. I just need to forget Oscar, no matter how intense our relationship was. That's amazing. It's like you took all the colors that exist and said, here's a new one. What the hell? Stewie, what are you doing up here? <gasps> Brian, it's not what you think, all right? I, I came up here for a photo shoot and it just got way, way out of hand. You're having tea. How is that out of hand? Is your shirt on backwards? Please, you can't tell Rupert I was up here, all right? He, he wouldn't understand. He'll kill himself, Brian. He's been through so much already. He can't take much more. Brian, he watched his brother drown. Stewie, relax. You're getting all worked up over nothing, says the guy who freaks out every time a fire engine goes by. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Peter, Peter, you hear that? I'm matching the sound. Is what I'm doing helping? Oh, well, excuse me for not being six months old anymore. Oh, and here come the tears. The show is starting, everyone. Come on down. What's all that noise? What the hell's going on up there? We're in a fight is what's going on. Brian, I need you to settle an argument for us. Am I Hitler? Because I don't think that I am, but you know, maybe I'm off base on this. <laughs> Stewie, take it easy. No, you know what? You may as well call your family now because I'm not going to Sarasota. I don't care if we can't get a refund. We're through. Here, Brian, you take him. Maybe you can make him happy. What? You heard me. Take him. Do whatever you want with him. I don't care. Rupert and I are over. Are you sure? Yes, we're done. I just hope we can handle it better than Blue and Yellow did when they split up. You are supposed to have the kids here by 5. We have plans. It's 5.15. Stop busting my hump, Alicia. Okay, you know what? Let's not, let's not do this in front of the kids. God, you're right. Whatever happened to us? Hey, baby, you ready for dinner? What's up, Scott? We gonna get some barbecue. Hey, Stewie, look, I want to apologize about earlier. I, What the hell is this? Brian, I think it's time that Rupert made his choice. What are you talking about? Talking about love, Bri. Talking about adult decisions. Rupert's been with me, and now he's been with you. It's time for him to pick. Stewie, this is stupid. I'm not doing this. Brian, either you cooperate, or I blow my Adam Levine dog whistle. Hey, my voice isn't that high. It is. It is, though. All right, Rupert, who will it be? And before you answer, think of all the good times we've had. The time we met the Beatles on the Ed Sullivan Show. That winter we lived on the sun. And here's my favorite. A blank one we can fill up with a future together. Yes! Oh my god, Rupert, I'm so sorry for everything! I missed you too! Whatever. 
Hey, you done with that weird octopus doll? It's you and me forever, Rupert. I just hope Oscar didn't take it too hard. <laughs>